Howdy folks, Doc here from Last Best Tool, and today I'm going to tear down one of the snap-on um, adjustable handle ratcheting screwdrivers. These are amazing screwdrivers. Um, basically use a ball detent to hold a, a bit into the handle. You've got right, left, and a fixed position for ratcheting. Um, I believe it's about 48 teeth, so you get a pretty good uh, amount of turn. Um, um, for just a tiny click, uh, so that's good. You don't have to rattle around if you're trying for precision in between two far apart clicks. Um, basically, it's got a, a button on the back, little spring-loaded one, or I, I mean in the middle of the handle, that allows you to rotate it 60 degrees, 20 degrees to the left, 20 degrees to the right, and 60 degrees to the right. Um, and then that allows you, uh, you know, kind of a more comfortable, powerful grip depending on you know, what you're trying to do. Um, and like some of the others, they've got bit storage in the back. Um, and also this particular uh, cap has a, um, a spot where you can put a bit in and use it as a, um, a small bit holder. Um, I also like the idea that, you know, that they did of this, this, this turn. It's about, I don't know what that is, a eighth of a turn, maybe less. Um, to pop that free, and that allows you to easy, easily get inside it, whereas some of the others you have to unscrew and it takes a little bit. So anyway, we're going to tear one of these down. I'm going to do this guy here. This is a, um, oh, I was going to show you these two. This is their non-bending handle, um, or adjustable handle, and it actually uses a little bit different mechanism to get inside compared to the other. I'll show you that in a moment. But anyway, so start out with a handle uh, here. Um, there's a spring-loaded lever inside there that locks into position, um, holds the handle there. I'm going to pop the cap off. Um, and then on the back side is a little access port. So if I pop that open, you can use a fingernail or whatever, there is a retaining ring um, that you can use snap ring pliers for. So you just go in, pop that free. I've already done it just to speed this up. So you can pop out the, um, the the snap ring and then carefully slide these two apart. And the reason is there's a spring loaded, not much of a spring, it's just a little tiny guy here. Um, and this guy uh, slides into a notch here, here's the lever, and then that's it. Now, if I put this together and just feel the resistance, there's quite a bit, and I thought, well, should it be smoother or something? And what I realized is Snap-on essentially put kind of the equivalent of a gasket um, sort of right here. There's a little raised area of rubber, so there's no way to make it silky smooth. And that's probably on purpose. It kind of gives it a, a nice um, resistive twist. It doesn't flop around. Um, but anyway, that's how you get that together or apart, so to put it together, you just drop that little spring right down inside that notch, and then the long end of this little L-shaped piece of metal goes sticking straight up, and then you basically align this, you have to push it down to get it into one of the notches, there it is, and then reattach your snap ring back here. So, there's that part of it, and now what I'm going to do is attack the front of this thing. By the way, this is a, maybe I should make my own little mini tool with that. Huh. Anyway, take that out and then there's a little hole right here so I can take a punch or a, you know, any real sharp, short object and you turn it to the, uh, to one of the sides. Um, in this case, I rotated it facing you um, counterclockwise and then I can feel resistance right there. I don't feel it over here. Um, and the reason is there's a little spring and a pin, kind of a detent system, that when I push that, it allows me to go just a little bit further. And you gotta be kind of careful here. There's some parts. And there we go. So this cap pops off. Then there's the top spring. There's the top gear, or a, basically a, there's the housing, and then there's the... Um, uh, the ratcheting mechanism there. I'm going to be very carefully pull out this pin. And then also there is a couple other parts. 
another spring and be very careful because there's a spring in here and what I do is I tend to knock that out so I know where it went not realizing oh wait where'd that spring go so here it is um, I've lubed this one up take it apart a few times so the way this thing works is there's a spring pull this off there's a double-sided ratcheting mechanism here this set of teeth and there's one of these rings with the teeth so you can hear it that's one set and then there's another set on top of it okay and then there's a spring that pushes that up and there'll be a spring that pushes that down and then as you rotate the connecting or the um, the adjustment here this fits inside um, kind of a, a set of ramps um, so as you turn this what it's going to do is slide um, put it on here first I'll take the springs out so what it's going to do is as you rotate this it raises up or lowers basically engaging or disengaging these um, these ratchets so one for left and one for right because if you look inside here you can see there's kind of a locking a way that this thing locks in position um, these are held basically in position so what what ratchets is actually the center part is what's turning so as I drop that in I've got no springs but basically this this piece here slides up and down and as it slides up and down it goes from say clockwise to fixed to counterclockwise in the ratcheting um, and that's about it uh, so if I put this guy to back together here drop a spring in drop this mechanism which is the shaft the ratcheting a lower ratchet gear the housing that controls the position the upper ratchet gear all drops down in and this lines up right there line that up then a top spring now I need to carefully put the actually I'll put that in after I need to put this little tiny spring in the the detent socket there whoops right there drop that in drop the pin on top the ratcheting or I mean the um, the pin that holds this all together I'll drop in the top spring and then what I need to do is line this thing up and you can see it's got a couple of indentations here so I'll and the pin is right here so I need to line that hole up about where that pin is drop it down turn it there we go you can hear there's a bit of a grind on this side this one isn't working as well and I just had it warrantied out by snap-on they didn't ask for it back so that's why it's kind of sacrificial now for a training video but once you have one I don't think you'll ever go back these are just amazing super nice um, these are also nice just the uh, standard soft handle with the ratcheting um, and there are so many of these different um, bits you can get love them I'll do a video on those but anyway don't be uh, worried about diving in and, and adjusting your expensive snap-on screwdriver if it needs it. All right, dock out.